YouTube. Um, today, I decided to make a list of my top five Beatles albums. I've seen some people do it, and I thought it was kind of an interesting take, so I'm going to take my own take. Alright, at number five, we have Magical Mystery Tour. Now, I know I might be considered a Beatles heretic, as it were, for liking this album, but I think it's a pretty good album. My, some of my favorites are, um, uh, let's see, Blue Jay Way, um, Baby a Rich Man, Fool on the Hill, Your Mother, Mother Should Know. Very, very good album. I like it a lot. Alright, um, number four, Rubber Soul. I just got this one yesterday, actually, and I'm really liking it a whole lot. Very good album. It has uh, good songs, Norwegian Wood, um, Nowhere Man, I'm Looking Through You, In My Life, of course, and Run For Your Life is actually a really good one, too. And all, almost all of these I have on new 180 gram vinyl, so that's nice. Uh, number three, we have The White Album. Now this is actually a fantastic album. I didn't like it at first, when I was first going through my first phase of Beatles life. I first got into the Beatles I liked earlier stuff. I Want to Hold Your Hand, that kind of uh, Love Me Do, that those kind of songs. But I really come to appreciate this one. And it's a double LP, so that's always nice. As fantastic songs, um, Don't Pass Me By, which is a great song by Ringo. Too bad he didn't have any a whole lot of songs. Um, let's see, While My Guitar Gently Weeps, very good. Happiness is a Warm Gun, also awesome. Um, uh, Your Blues. Helter Skelter, that's a pretty good one. Uh, Savory Truffle, Cry Baby Cry, those are good. And I might be considered a Beatles heretic again by saying I actually really enjoy Revolution 9. Revolution 9, although it's not very lyric based at all, it's kind of a compilation of sounds that really describe, I don't know, life in the 60s, I would say. You know, protests, like, I guess, free love in a way. Um, happiness, joy, tragedy, pain. It really, it's really, really speaks to me. I know a lot of people hate it, and I can see why, because there's not a whole lot of musicality to it, but they say pictures worth a thousand words. Sound is worth a million, so. Alright, number two. I actually have this one as an original copy. Abbey Road. Very, very, very nice album. Really great songs. Um, the Abbey Road Melody, that's a good one. That's the symphony, basically, basically a symphony on side two. So it starts at because and goes all the way to the end. And I can tell that this is an original pressing because it's missing... Her Majesty at the end. It's, yeah, it's also missing it on the label. If I can get it out. It's missing it on the label. To be here. Sorry about that. That's my neighbor's dog. Really loud. Oh wait. Thank you. But, yeah, it should have Her Majesty at the end, but they forgot to put that there because it was last minute edition. But yeah. That'd be right. Very, very good. Um, I Want You, She's So Heavy, that's a that's one of my favorites. Um, Me, Mr. Mustard, Carry That Weight, and The End. Obviously very good songs. My number one favorite, Revolver. Now this one, I think this transcends music no matter what you're into. This is one of the most amazing pieces of music that anyone has made ever. It has fantastic songs, and a great back cover too. Um, Eleanor Rigby, I'm Only Sleeping, it's awesome. Um, Annual Bird Can Sing, For No One. Uh, oh, I forgot, uh, Love You Too, that's a good one. I Want to Tell You, and um, Tomorrow Never Knows, which has been described as a very early version of techno, kind of like, almost feels kind of half invented techno maybe. That's just my opinion. They didn't mean to, obviously, but they did. So, and of course that was, you know, one of their best albums considered by many people is Re 
revolver because it's just so good. Um, oh, back to the White Album. A lot of people say that there's a lot of filler on the White Album, but if they actually listen to it all the way through, you'd find that every song is really good. Every song has a song meaning. So, that's that's why I like that one. But anyway, that's, that's my top five. I don't have any solo albums to do, so I know a lot of people do that. They do five Beatles albums and then solo albums, but I don't have any solo albums yet. But I wish to get some in the future. Alright, so that's my top five. Let me know what your top five are in the comments, and have a good day. Bye.